do you believe? What I believe is not important. But of course it's important. I shan't be at the trial. Have some wine. No. So, you saw the Armenian in Babylon? Yes. You didn't mention anything about his son. Of course not. And the Queen Mother, is she still determined to punish me for the death of Darius? She says I'm to tell you that her feelings for you have not changed. But she will not speak to me or write to me or ever see me again. Has she forgotten I can command her to do all these things? No. She is still the mother of Darius. Then perhaps I'd better teach her who I am. Sit down, Philotus. As it might be as well. Some of your interrogations recently have been a little severe. They are not my interrogations. You're in the hands of the High Council of the Army. It has nothing to do with me. Oh, hasn't it? Have some wine? Have you ever known me to refuse? Thank you. <sighs> you know, I've been trying lately to remember what wine tasted like. I'm glad to find that the reality is better than my imagination made it. <sighs> As I've no doubt the same is true of other pleasures. How is my sweet Antigone, by the way? Well, I believe. I think you might have allowed her to see me. The council refused permission. She's a witness against you. <laughs> and I love that bit. Philotus, I want to help you. Well, help me then. Set me free. Give me back my commands. Punish my accusers. You are your own chief accuser. Shall I read you some of the things you have reported to have said about me? Ah, what a man says in bed should never be held against. These things weren't only said in bed, nor only to Antigone. Do you want me to read them? If you must. Uh, let me have another cup of wine, meanwhile. i better make the best of these few minutes. The greatness of a man is to be measured not by what he does, but by what he is. On that premise, Alexander is about as great as my little finger. Yes. Yes, I remember when I said that. It was at a banquet in Egypt. I was drunk. Not too drunk to remember having said it. People say Alexander is a god. Surely the place for a god is on Olympus, not on the throne of Asia. Hmm. An unexceptionable sentiment, I should have thought, from an atheist. The council may not find it so. Is it a crime to make a joke? Was it a joke? As much of a joke as people saying you're a god. We began as the companions of a Macedonian adventurer. We've ended as the slaves of an oriental despot. Was that too a joke? No, I think that was true. Hey, Hephaestion, what can I do? He's bent on self-murder. Pilotus! It is you who are making an oriental despot of me. Can't you forget for a moment who and what I am now and think of me as the simple Greek soldier who was once your friend? Yes, Alexander, I can. A little too easily, perhaps, for my peace of mind. For all that, I'm still your friend and determined, if I can, to save you from yourself. But what I have done, I shall not allow to be destroyed either by the actions of my enemies or the taunts and jeers of my friends. Which is why, in a few days' time, you, my dear friend, may have to die. For that document will be your death warrant if I give it to the Council. Well, then why give it to them? I'll burn it! If you will fulfill one small condition. That I fall down in public and worship you as a god. No! That you make a speech at your trial in which you retract every word you've said against me and that you'll give me your most solemn oath now, that you'll never see another as long as you live. But that's just what I said, Alexander, that I fall down in public and worship you as a god. Thank you for the wine. God! Take the assassin back to his jail. Pilotus, I beg of you. Think before you do this. Oh, I've thought, Alexander. I've thought quite long enough. What else do you suppose I do in my cell all day and all night? 
I'm tired of thinking. What I ask of you is not a great thing to ask of a friend. Uh, if you were Darius, I should be a fool not to save my life on such terms. But you're not. You're Alexander. And what you ask is greater than the world we've conquered together. And you expect me to have mercy on you? No, I understand what you must do. Then have pity on me, if not for yourself. I have, strange to say. Pity on both of it. Oh, I shouldn't have had that second cup of wine. There's a mistake on an empty stomach. Goodbye. I've enjoyed the adventure. I wish I could have seen how it ended. Goodbye, Hephaestia. For Lotus. I beg you, do what Alexander wants. I'm not Alexander, that's the trouble. I can't do the impossible. Come on, my friend. Forward march. I didn't try to kill you, you know. But if you should be fool enough to pardon me now, I would. And I wouldn't bungle it either. Christian, I'm giving you an order. Yes, Alexander. You will return to Babylon, take a battalion of foot guards, and put Parmenian under arrest. Parmenian? Yes, Parmenian. But why? What has he done? Nothing yet. Then on what charge am I to arrest him? Protective custody. The man's anger will be so great when they hear of Philotus' treachery that they may turn on Philotus' father. But you don't believe that, do you? Parmenian is worshipped by his men. It's not good for a mortal to be worshipped. Did you not hear Philotus say that? And Parmenian has far too many men to worship him. But you're not afraid of Parmenian. He controls the heart of my empire. Damn all the gods! Why did I leave him there? I must have been mad. I'd stake my life on Parmenian's loyalty. You'd better not. Your life is too precious to me. But why must you think the... Oh, in the name of the gods, Ephesian, you enrage me sometimes. I am not trying to shirk the duty. Let me go to him alone, unarmed, without an escort, and to break the news. And present a prospective rebel with the most valuable hostage I have to give? I don't believe he is a prospective rebel. I don't intend to wait to find that out. I shall declare I have definite proof that Armenian, like his son, had been plotting against me. Had been? He must die, resisting arrest. No. No other way. No, Alexander. Do you think I like to give this order? How can I risk an open trial when I have no evidence? How can I have him guarded by one battalion in a town where 15,000 of his own men are under arms? He must be killed on the spot. It's the only possible thing to do. And you must find someone else to do it. Not myself. You must. You're the only one I can trust. In this, you can't trust me. Well, I'll take that risk. I won't. What, you'll disobey an order? This order? Why don't you have me killed, too? I must leave that to the gods. Surely they must envy such dazzling virtue, such... Nobility of character in a mere mortal. It's a wonder they've let you live so long, he feasts you. I must remember this moment. This is the moment Alexander first discovered he hadn't a friend in all the world. And that from this moment he must stand alone. Leave me now. And for all I care, you need never come back again. Send in Perdiccas. Medaris! You remember the night before Gogamela? Yes, Majesty. That night, you saw my hands shaking with fear. Do you remember, Mazares? Well, Majesty. Well, my hands are shaking now, and I have no battle to fight tomorrow. <laughs> Only 
I had. Go back, will you? Roxana. So you've appointed yourself my cupbearer. I thank you. And what toast shall I give you? A loyal toast? <laughs> Death to all the king's enemies? Yes. I think that'll do very well. Here's death to all the king's enemies. <laughs> Which of course includes your father, doesn't it? rather a pity, but then there's nothing we can do about that, is there? Do you love your father, Roxana? Does he love you? <laughs> oh, I see. You find the very idea ridiculous. And who am I to blame you? Sit here. Let's you and I drink to his perdition in a loving cup. I have many enemies to attend to. You know that, Roxana? The master of the world has many enemies. He doesn't want to have enemies. He wants everyone to love him. But he also wants to remain master of the world. Go away. Go away. Roxana. in my hand a ring, a very pretty ring. It belonged to my mother. In this hand, a dagger, also a very pretty one. That belonged to my father. Now, you and I who play a little game, we will decide which hand. <laughs> now, <laughs> yes, Roxanne. I think you'll make a splendid wife. You also, I see, are blessed with the quality of luck. Send for me, sir? Yes, Perdicus. You will return to Babylon with these orders. So, General Perdicus, I am your prisoner. Oh, no, ma'am. The king has simply expressed a wish to see you before he leaves for India. When a king expresses a wish in such terms, it is usually better described as a command. And when he sends one of his most trusted generals and a battalion of guards to carry it out... Escorting you to the king is, uh, is not my only duty in Babylon, ma'am. I... I have another. Oh? What? <laughs> I suppose I mustn't ask. Very well, general. And when do we leave? Uh, tomorrow. I see. Your journey will be as comfortable as I can make it. Thank you, sir. It would have been kinder of Alexander to have sent Philotus on this mission. His father is very lonely here in Babylon, and I know would have given much for a sight of him. Philotus is under arrest. Under arrest? What is the charge? High treason. I see. Poor Alexander. Ma'am? I said, poor Alexander. Well, I don't understand you, ma'am. I hardly thought you would, General. I will not detain you. I know you have other duties to perform. I have. I shall be ready for you at dawn. 